Good morning everyone. I hope you had a good time off over the Easter holidays and welcome to another one of our online assemblies. The Lord be with you. Thank you. Now today we're going to be thinking about one of Jesus's friends or disciples called Thomas, sometimes also known as Doubting Thomas. But first, a song. And because we're thinking about Thomas and his faith, we're going to have faith as small as a mustard seed, and I hope you enjoy joining in with the actions. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. And now for today's story time. And so let's watch the story of Doubting Thomas. Stories of the Bible. Jesus appears to Thomas. This is Jesus. hey -o! Who is the son of God and the savior of the world. While Jesus was on earth, he taught everyone about God's love and healed people from their sickness. He did many miracles like calming storms <laughs> and even raised people from the dead. <laughs> but some people did not like what Jesus was doing <laughs> and they put him to death. 
He died on a cross and was buried in a tomb. For three days, Jesus' body laid in that tomb, and it seemed that there was no hope. But very early on Sunday morning, the woman who cared for Jesus went to go visit his body, found that his tomb was empty, and that he was no longer there. For he was risen. He was alive. Woohoo! What? Hey, oh! Jesus appeared to his disciples to show them that he was alive. One of the twelve disciples, Thomas, was not with the others when Jesus came. Hey! Hey, Thomas! Later, the disciples told Thomas, We have seen the Lord. But Thomas said, I won't believe it unless I see the nail wounds in his hands. Put my fingers into them and place my hand into the wound in his side. Eight days later, the disciples were together again, and this time Thomas was with them. The doors were locked, but suddenly, as before, Jesus was standing among them. Oh, hey guys. Peace be with you, he said. Then Jesus said to Thomas, Put your finger here and look at my hands. Put your hand into the wound in my side. Don't be faithless any longer. Believe. Thomas said, My Lord and my God. Then Jesus told him, You believe because you have seen me. Blessed are those who believe without seeing me. Now, let me start with a question. What animal am I thinking of and what country does it come from? What animal am I thinking of right now and what country does it come from? Any ideas? Any guesses? That's a bit hard, isn't it? So let's make it a bit easier. Let's let's make it so you can see the animal. Here's a picture. Now, who knows what this animal is? Yep, it's a tiger. But what sort of tiger? Well, it's actually a Bengal tiger. Now, do any of you know what country the Bengal tiger comes from? Did anyone say India? Because if you did say India, that is the right answer. So if you said that, if you said India, then very well done. That's excellent. Now, of course, it's very difficult to know something like this unless we can see it, isn't it? We like to see things for ourselves, don't we? Now, Thomas was one of Jesus's friends who found it very hard to believe that Jesus had risen from the dead. Even when the other disciples said that they'd seen the risen Jesus after Easter, Thomas didn't believe them. And sometimes, today, when people don't believe things, we call them a bit of a doubting Thomas. Now, later on, as we saw in the video, Thomas met the risen Jesus for himself. And when he saw Jesus, he said, My Lord and my God. And so Thomas was one of the first disciples to recognise Jesus as the Son of God. So even though he started out by doubting, he ended up with a very strong faith. And it's said that he travelled hundreds of miles telling people about Jesus. Now this that you can see here is a map of India. And I wonder, have any of you ever been to India? And if you have, perhaps you could tell your teacher about it afterwards. But you see, Thomas, doubting Thomas, went all the way to South India to tell people about Jesus. In fact, the church in India is called the Martoma Church, which is translated into English, means the Church of Thomas. And in a place called Madras, which is shown by the red arrow on the map, there's a special hill called St. Thomas's Mount with a church on it dedicated to Thomas. So even though he doubted, Thomas was able to change his mind to believe in Jesus 
and then go and tell everyone about him. And so you see, it's okay to have doubts and questions, just like Thomas did, as, as they can help us to find out things and help us to have more faith. But we have to be prepared to change our minds. Otherwise, it's so much harder to learn, isn't it? And so I'm now going to say a prayer and then we'll say the Lord's Prayer together. So let's pray. Dear God, thank you that you're always there beside us, even when we're not sure what to believe. Thank you that it's all right to have doubts and questions. You don't mind, but help us to trust you and trust in you more and more. And like Thomas, to keep growing in faith. Amen. The Lord's Prayer Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Well, I hope you enjoyed our time together again today and I'll see you again next week. Bye.